Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for you guys. Yes, we are a bit behind, but not to worry. We have tons of new videos coming up for you guys, uh, as well as tons of spell work as well. So for those of you guys that are returning, welcome, my lovelies. For those of you guys that are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell to get updated of the newest videos coming up for you guys. Also, I want to give you guys a quick update for those of you guys that like to shop on our online store. We have made it much more easier for you and now you can go on there and purchase personal readings from a variety of different readings that we provide as well as uh, spell work as well as uh, uh, candle preparations you'll be able to find all of that on there a lot of your favorite um, <clears throat> products that have been sold out for quite a while are now back on restock we have tons of uh, soaps the Lilith soap, the Handsome Devil soap, the Florida soap, uh, the Golden Bar soap, all of that you'll be able to find there as well as our candles that are ritualized and consecrated, prepared for you through ceremonial rites to empower and strengthen, depending on what it is that you're looking for. As you guys can see here, there is the Ven Ami, which is Come to Me candle. You'll be able to see all that there. All you really need to do is just light the candles because they are already prepared, infused with herbs, oils, etc. So let's get into your reading, Pisces. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of March 2022. How are you doing, my lovelies? Hope you guys are doing amazing. All right, Spirits, what are the messages for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of March 2022? Please give us the communication with the element of air as well as the finances and career element of earth, the challenge for this month, element of fire, love relationships and partnerships, element of water and spirits, general energy for this month, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, one more shuffle here. All right, let's get into it. Pisces, your first card here is the Page of Swords. Well... What I'm hearing here for you guys is there is a message coming through for you. For some of you guys, this is a message you've been expecting or wanting to hear from. This could be a specific individual reaching out, um, but more so, I feel like it has a lot to do with either paperwork, a check you're waiting for, or something that has to do with legal paperwork um, that has been a bit of a holdback or a bit of... Um, some resistance there is finally coming through and like i said i feel like for some of you guys it's a message you've been hoping or wanting to get so let's get into your reading communication you have the death card here a major transformation happening for some of you guys um you may be dealing with the scorpio but i feel like for some of you guys this has to do with the page of swords so there is uh definitely uh some type of message or some type of information that's coming in for you guys that is going to set the tone uh, for the road or path that you're about to embark on. This is for some of you guys going towards a new direction. For others of you, major life-changing transformation here. Um, again, like I said, if you've been waiting uh, to receive a check or something that has to do with legalities, whether it's paperwork of a home, whether it's purchasing a home and waiting for the escrow to close, or anything like that, it is finally coming through. It is finally unfolding for you guys in this month. You may experience this from now all the way to the month of April. Now, when we're talking about finances and career, you have the King of Wands. So King of Wands does indicate um, being more assertive, being a little bit more aggressive in your approach to how you make money. This could be, as an example, if you have a tendency of working around an environment where people are very competitive, what they're telling you here, it is time for you to step up, Pisces. It is time for you to allow yourself to shine and be unapologetic about it. This is about taking what is rightfully yours. This is about fighting for what you deserve. This is about speaking up and standing your ground in matters where maybe in the past you've been a little bit more passive or perhaps you've allowed people to take you a little bit for granted. Now is the time for you to really speak up for yourself is what I'm hearing. Now, when we're talking about the challenge here, we have the death and the ten of swords. So um, it's time for you to let go of anything that is no longer serving Pisces. This includes connections, partnerships, friendships, relationships, family members even um, that have kept you or that have had you chained 
um, instead of allowing you to move forward and progress, they're holding you back. Now is the time to let go of that. Anything that is coming to an end or to a conclusion, embrace it. And don't see it as a negative Pisces. See it as a blessing. Why? Because it is necessary to end certain chapters in our life to be able to go on to the next cycle of our lives. And the next cycle is going to bring to you much more better opportunities. So again, let go. Whatever the situation you're dealing with right now, um, with the King of Wands, if you've been dealing with a situation or a relationship that hasn't been working out or that it's usually you the one that's fighting to hold on to it, let it go. Stop forcing things. Um, this month of, for you guys, especially because it is your month, Pisces, I would highly encourage you guys to stand in your power and fully embrace that. Fully embrace anything that is coming to a conclusion. If people are showing you their true colors, take it for what it is. See it the way it is. Accept it. Stop trying to fantasize or romanticize um, people's behaviors or people's way of being just because you're giving them the benefit of the doubt. For this month of uh, March, for you guys, I highly encourage you guys to take things for what they are. Don't question it. And like I said, stop fighting changes that are happening in your life. Now, when we're talking about relationships here, there's the hermit card. Um, so for some of you guys, it could be deciding to make a clean break. For some of you guys, you may be dealing with a Virgo. For others of you, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, as well as uh, Scorpio here, as we have those uh, energies that are coming through. But what they are saying is, if you are in an unhappy relationship, or if you find yourself uh, feeling like you are in a relationship, but you find yourself feeling alone in the relationship, it's time for you to take a step back, Pisces, like I said, really take it back to yourself, bring it back to you, make it about you for this month and for the month of April. It has a lot to do with your self-care. It has a lot to do with uh, no longer sacrificing, no longer meeting people halfway. It's the time for them to step up. It's the time for them to show you through actions if they want you in their life and where they're placing you in their life. And whatever that may be or whatever that they may show you, take it for what it is and don't question it, Pisces. I want to wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment, and subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys soon. Till then, bye.